Good morning. This short video will help you understand how to use FlipSnack as well as information that you have in Google Drive to make a poetry book. So I've gone to this FlipSnack website. So I'm going to open a browser window and type in www.flipsnack.com. When I get to Flip Snack, I'm going to go to Sign In. Now, since you don't have an account yet, when you click on Sign In, you're actually going to have to create an account. I realize right here it says Sign In with Google, but our Brenham K-12 Google accounts don't correspond here. It just doesn't read it for some reason. Um, although from now on, it'll be very simple to say Sign In with Google, but um, we have to actually create the account the old-fashioned way. So I'm going to click Sign In with Email right here, and you're going to type in your Brenham K-12.net student account. Um, using your full Brenham K-12 um, address and then your Brenham K-12 password which remember that's your ID number and then your three initials so um, then you'll click in remember me and sign in um, usually we don't say remember me but since you're going to be on a Chromebook it can remember you um, because you're signed into your Chromebook if you're not on a Chromebook if you're on a regular computer please don't don't click remember me so then you'll click sign in I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with um, my account so and the next time you come back, once you have an account, you can say sign in with Google and then you can choose your account, your um, Brenham K-12 account, and then it'll automatically be signed in for you. Okay, let me get signed into my account. Now, after um, you click sign in, you're going to get a message that says it has sent you a verification email. So you're actually going to have to go to your email box and look for a Flip Snack email right here. It'll say you have created a new Flip Snack account, and you'll open that, and um, it'll say verify by clicking here, and you'll do that. And it will take you back to your Flip Snack, and you'll finally be in your account. So just to review, you're going to create your account. You're going to check your email box for your verification email, and then you'll return to your account. Now let's take a look at what a flip snack does. So I have an example flip snack right here, and you'll notice when it opens that it has images and it can also have words. But everything that goes into our flip snack has to be in the form of a PDF or a JPEG. So this was a JPEG, it was a picture, and when I click it, Notice that the flip snack opens and looks just like a book, which is why we're doing this for your project. Um, so each one of these, even though they have words on them, I actually had to get my words into a PDF file or into a picture file in order to make my flip snack. So this is how it happens. I'm going to say create a new flip book. I'm going to add a title. My poetry type correctly here book I can put a description if I wish poetry book for ELA 7 and now I need to add my pages to my book well I can't type directly in here and this is where Google Drive comes in so I'm going to go back to my Google Drive and I can actually create right here. Well, let me go back to the regular drive. I can actually create a presentation. It actually will work with documents or presentations, but the reason you want to use presentations is so that all of your items can be facing the same direction, which is going to be horizontal. So I can create a presentation. When I get into the presentation, I can do a first page, maybe that's my title page, and then I can put my poems on each page. If you have your poems somewhere else, maybe in a document on Google Drive, you can actually just you know, copy it from one place and then paste it in um, to your presentation. Um, and then you can actually line them up. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do is to put in your images because your poems are supposed to be illustrated. So if you're going to add an image um, this way, you're asking how could I add an image that I've drawn. Do you see right here where it says take a snapshot? So I'm going to open that up and it's going to say can I get into your camera and you're going to say allow and then notice right now that you can actually see me just like you would be able to see yourself on the Chromebook. So if you drew an image uh, for your poem you could actually hold it up right now let me turn that right side up and pretend like this is a picture and you could actually take a picture of this so I'm going to go ahead and do that right here on this button that says take a snapshot and it's going to take the snapshot over here I'm going to say yes I want to select that and now it's going to add it to my presentation. So we'll give it just a second to do that. Okay, so there's my picture. And I can resize it. I could put it on this screen right here where my uh, poem is. Or I could add another 
a slide to this and I could take my picture and I could move it. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to go to my new slide and I'm going to change this slide layout to blank. And I'm going to paste my picture in. And then I can make it really big if that's how I'm going to add my image for that one particular poem. So I have my poem here and then I have my image. So make sure you have a title, put a poem, put your image in. You can um, put your image on the poem itself. You could put your image afterwards. And if you draw your image, use the camera in order to capture that image. So the way that I did that one more time was I click on the image icon right here, like it's an add image, and I say take a snapshot. And then I can hold up my hand drawn image to be able to put it in. Okay, so now I'm going to continue adding slides and this right here is going to be poem two. So I'm going to do a title with body. I'm going to call this one poem two. And I can paste in my next poem. Let's just pretend like this is my poem and so forth. Remember that Google Docs saves as you go. All changes saved in Drive. Okay, now I need to be able to take this poetry information and put it into flip snack so that I can have a book. That was the point of this. So let me, that's what I'm going to do next. So the first thing we did was we created our flip snack account. We went to our email to verify and opened it up, created a new flip snack. Then we went to Google docs and we created this Google presentation, adding in our images. Now we're going to connect our Google presentation to flip snack. Here we go. Step one, click file, download as and you're going to choose PDF or JPEG. I've done PDF multiple times and I'm very successful with it. If you want to try JPEG, you're welcome to do so. So I'm going to choose PDF right here and on the Chromebook, it'll automatically go to your downloads folder and you're going to click save or whatever it asks you to do. It may not even ask you to save. Um, so now it's going to be in the and I'm not working on a Chromebook right now, but if you were, if you go down to the apps launcher and click it and you find that little blue file folder, you'll see that your PDF is saved there. Um, you don't have to look at it. You just need to make sure that you know that it's there. Okay, now I'm going to go to flip snack where it says browse. I'm going to click browse and on your Chromebook, it'll automatically go to where you have everything downloaded. I'm going to find that file that I just downloaded as a PDF and I'm going to say open. If I scroll down, you'll notice right here it says converting document. This may take a few minutes um, and I'm going to wait until it loads. Mine loaded fairly quickly. Yours may take a little bit longer. Now I'm going to click next. I can customize my flip book by picking um, what is going to look like on the inside. So maybe I want a coil flip. Notice I have a preview right here on the bottom. It added a coil right here. Um, I can do a simple flip book, which looks like this more like what I had. I can do the classic flip book, which is more like what I had before as well. But I kind of like the coil, so I think I'm going to go with that. And there it is. And I can preview. And you'll notice it has my poems. It'll have each page um, separate. When I'm decided that that's ready, I'm going to click finish. And I now have my flip book with all of my poems and my images inside of it, however long yours is. Now the next question is, how am I going to turn this in? Notice on the bottom, I have lots of choices. So the best way to send this to your teacher is through an email. She may ask you to do something a little different. Um, and if she does, then you know, you, you may have to do that. Please excuse that. Um, so you can click on um, send by email. If that doesn't work, if that's not working for you, notice that you have your flipbook actually has its own email, um, own website. So if I say copy this website and then I go to email and I can compose a new email and um, type in Mrs. Dross's name and put that um, I am in third period and my last name is Strauss and I'm going to send her my flipbook. And then I can post, paste in the link um, and I could actually send it to her that way as well. Um, and now we actually have the link. Um, but whatever, however she tells you to send it in, that's how you're going to need to send it to her from Flipsnack. So let's review. We created our Flipsnack account. We went to our email to verify. You only have to do that the first time. The next time you come back to Flipsnack, you just have to sign right back in using your Google account. 
Uh, then we went to Google Drive and we created a presentation and pasted in each one of our poems and added any type of drawings, either using the Chromebook uh, camera or using the built-in different imaging tools. From there, I downloaded it as a PDF, went to FlipSnack, created my new FlipSnack, and then uploaded the PDF that I had downloaded from my Google Drive. I hope this short video will help you to understand how to use FlipSnack and Google Drive to create your poetry book.